you know, movies are really about time. And Rick, he's been making movies that are about time. And he has from the start. We have another call. Let's take that. It's on line two. It's Robert. Hello. I'd like to compliment your guest for once um, somebody not trying to make a film with a bunch of explosions, um, glass, a big body count or anything. <laughs> um, but a film about people, you know, and uh, I'd really like to compliment you for that. Oh, well, thanks a lot. I think that's what I'm mainly interested in, just in cinema. Make films about real people in real situations, m more or less. It was a film we could do in our own neighborhood very inexpensively, so it kind of grew out of our restrictions and our local environment. Run through in here. He kind of has to construct a different world to express what he feels about this one. Closing the light. Like we must shoot. Oh, it's going to be six weeks. What's six weeks, Ron? Right there. Six weeks to get this scene shot. All right. Let's go. Is this a shit? Are we running through this or what? These guys put angles up. up. Put angles up. We're going to run through one more time and put angles up, okay? I remember the first time I saw Slacker, it felt like a snapshot in time, but I never would have imagined that it would have a, a more universal appeal. In 1991, making a movie anywhere but New York or Los Angeles as an indie filmmaker, that was unheard of. It was just a really kind of an exciting time, like a whole world had opened up. Film had sort of taken hold of me as worth my time. I was amazed looking back how much patience I had. It wasn't something that just came overnight. This is real life. It's not perfect, but it's real. Rick wasn't making movies according to the blockbuster standard. I think he just isn't willing to compromise. Lucy Goosey. He's an athlete, and he's highly competitive. Our business together is to create the best art we can. I think you see, with his body of work, a sort of consistency and vision. And it's really amazing how he's been able to navigate his stories and in his way. The moment seizes us. Yeah. It's a lot of work, and people don't want to hear that. No one wants to think how they would have to alter their life. Rolly! Rick is not looking through Hollywood's eyes. He doesn't care how Hollywood sees him. He's, it's a valuable tool. He loves Hollywood. He doesn't need anybody else to make his dreams come true.